and I got arrested, and I was like, oh, shoot. I was in college at the time, and I was like, damn, I can't get no real job ever again. My life is over. Uh, I got a DWI. I thought it was. Yeah. I thought, yeah, it, yeah. I thought it was the end of the world. Somehow that DWI ended up getting dismissed. But <laughs> hey, that, that's very fortunate, man. That's we went to court for so many years for it and got dismissed. But my thing is, from at that that very point, I was like, I went back. To, I I changed my major to marketing and learned how to market myself for comedy. And I took comedy serious and started getting paid for shows and. Um, I like doing it. If I was good at doing cars, I'll be doing cars. If I was good at something, it's something that I'm good at. I wasn't the uh, fastest runner. You know, I wasn't the hottest dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't the smartest kid. But performing, I was in theater arts. And so comedy is something that I'm good at. So Yeah. I mean, hey, not to be smart. Like, look at you, dude. Like, you're, you're marketing yourself. You're, yeah. you're a comedian. Like, you're funny. Like, it, it's hard to make jokes and make people laugh. Like, I'm pretty sure... You didn't always make people laugh. I'm pretty sure you've gone into a room and like. Yeah, that's what that's what hurt me at the beginning. Um, I did so I got lucky to where I was getting. I didn't bomb the first couple of times, mm -hmm. and so I thought I was on some level. And then one day I got booked to do uh, the Alamo Dome. Mm -hmm. um, well, yeah, it was not not just the Alamo Dome, but a couple other shows. But the Alamo Dome, I got booked for the show, and I didn't realize that the crowd was like a Christian crowd oh. it was for frankie bubbly and maze like an old school <laughs> and it was like a whole bunch of old black christian people there mm -hmm. and i made one come reference joke and lost the whole crowd got 